We have breaking news right now on the future of Rhode Island's Education Commissioner. Deborah Gist is staying put. The State Board of Education voted earlier tonight to renew her contract despite protests from the state's teachers' unions. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has been on top of the story all day. She joins us live from Warwick with the breaking details. Susan, it's been a long, sometimes heated night here in Warwick. For nearly three hours, the Board of Education was behind closed doors discussing that contract for Deborah Gist. And she votes yes. The motion carries. By a vote of seven to three, Education Commissioner Deborah Gist's contract was renewed for two years. I listen, have listened, and will continue to listen and uh, to the feedback that we've gotten from the teachers. And I'm very grateful that the board has given me some very clear feedback and will continue to do so. And I will use that feedback to improve my performance. The board's chairwoman says Gist is the right person for the job. She's an effective leader. We have a, uh, we're in we're in year three of a strategic plan. And uh, as the governor has said over and over again, continuity is important to him. You don't uh, throw the baby out with the bathwater. But members of the National Education Association say the board made the wrong decision. Earlier in the day, dozens protested Gist's contract. But in the end, the NEA didn't get its way. Now they're vowing to continue the fight against the board and Deborah Gist. Our people were treated worse in the last four years than ever before, and we have the data to back that up, both from a policy standpoint and from a management standpoint. We are not going to back down. Um, cooperation, we're, when we see cooperation from this board, if this board steps up and does some of the things that they gave a speech about tonight, maybe there'll be cooperation. According to the terms of her new contract, Deborah Gist's base salary will be $190,000. Her total compensation package is just shy of $208,000. She will also have quarterly reviews. Live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.